started. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, good afternoon or good morning, depending on your time zone. My name is Sean Dixon. I'm the director of AV programs here at ADI. I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar and thank you all for your business and participation in the AV Elite program. I also want to thank all the ADI team members who have also joined today's webinar. Um, so this session is being recorded and will be available online in a day or two on our website. So check back if you want to go back uh, and watch anything you might have missed on the website. Uh, you're all in listen only mode. So please type your questions into the Q&A box at the bottom. And uh, one of the panelists or myself will uh, do our best to address those throughout the presentation or at the end. And now on to today's webinar, why use RTI and Pro Control for AV control and automation? So it's with great pleasure that I introduce our panelists. So joining us from RTI today is uh, Sales Director for the East, Angel Madrid, Sales Director from the West, John Dawson, and also their Director of Dealer Experience, Vincent Bovis. So I wanna welcome all of you to the call. And uh, again, thanks everybody for joining today. And uh, Angel and, and team, I'll just turn things over to you and let you have the floor for the next hour. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. And uh, thanks yeah. everybody who's on this call. We appreciate you guys giving us a moment to uh, go over this. Um, I'm going to try to make it uh, easy and painless. Uh, we do have uh, 29 years of experience that we're going to try to cram in in about 40 minutes uh, and leave you guys with some Q&A. Um, so with that being said, you know, let's just uh, talk about actually our team. And who we have on board, as uh, Sean pointed out, we got John Dawson here who covers the uh, better part of the West. And then you got me covering the better part of the East. And we have Vincent Bova online, uh, who is our director of dealer experience and sales engineering. And uh, Jim uh, Koenig, who is right now currently out uh, at one of our trade shows, um, he is our national sales director. So we've added a few people, new CEO. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, I like to tell everybody it's a good time to be an RTI dealer. It's a great time to be an RTI employee, and it's a great time to be an RTI partner. Um, sales team, the inside sales team uh, by Kevin and Patrick, they're going to be responsible for some of the onboarding uh, solutions that are necessary in order to get all of our dealers who want to come on board, uh, or anybody new rather, uh, you know, to be as successful as possible, and they'll be able to qualify and assist with that. And we'll go deeper into how that um, works out. And uh, some familiar faces for, you know, anybody who does remember uh, Tyler Nelson, uh, he has come back to us. He saw the light and realized he made a grave mistake and said, you know what, I need to come back to RTI. So he's heading uh, our training department and be responsible to work alongside with Vincent to make sure the education to our dealers and distributors are top notch. Um, so what are we going to try to talk about in this particular presentation? We want to make sure that we can introduce you guys to new revenue streams that you could pass on to uh, the dealers. So that, you know, that's that's our main concern, right? We want to make sure that our guys have an opportunity to go out there and 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 create more success. And as long as they do that, everybody wins. Customer wins, the dealer wins, uh, ADI wins, RTI wins. And so we're going to show you how you guys can do that. And for if we have any dealers on right now that are listening, um, pay attention. This is really helpful. This is a good way for you guys to understand how you can increase your revenue with us uh, using RTI or Pro Control. Um, way we do that is uh, some of the opportunities that you have available to you that will solve any kind of uh, client need that you have. And that's how I want you to approach this. It's not about selling you guys SKUs and, and black boxes. I want you guys to think about what solution is the right solution for your customer. And when you have that particular problem, well, then we have the ability to make sure that you have um, what you need. And that is the reason why when you think about how RTI and Pro Control could uh, make that happen for you, it's pretty simple. Um, because really, this entire control uh, field and this industry has was born out of the fact that everybody had just, you know, a coffee table full of like remotes, right? And, um, and we didn't need that. We, we didn't need a bunch of remotes out there on the coffee table. And today's world presents a new problem because we have smartphones and smart tablets out there. So those uh, multitude of remotes that you had to use just to be able to mute your volume or change a channel or, or watch a movie has been replaced with apps. So those virtual remotes uh, now clutter your home screen. And we have a solution for that as well. 
multiple subsystems with just one touch. Uh, so the home automation is available to you as well. This isn't just control. You're going to hear me say this throughout the entire presentation. You'll hear it from Vincent and from John as well. We're an automation company. You are not going to be able to find an automation company right now through distribution. We cover the entire gamut. What you guys are trying to work on, we have the ability to um, uh, assist with that. And we'll go deeper into what that means. So the dedication to control. Why? Hey, we're the only software company in the CDL Hall of Fame. They decided to create a category. And guess whose software is there? RTI. Um, in between all that, we've won other um, you know, awards throughout the years. But the most important one to us, again, like I said, is the Hall of Fame. Uh, but the single most important uh, accolade that we could get, I guess, is uh, the accolade that we need is from the dealers, right? If they say that we're good, then that's what I'd like to hear. How do we do this? Well, we have a two-brand approach for you guys. We have Pro Control and we have RTI. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this over to Vincent on the Pro Control side so he can start going over some of the products you have. And then you guys can understand the solutions that are available to you on the pro, pro control series. So Vincent, go right ahead. All right. Thanks a lot. ADI dealers. Uh, we can continue on each. Okay. Pro control. Okay. Perfect for the uh, single room solution. We have two series in the pro control. We have the R series, which is a single one way uh, control system. Ideal for single rooms, media rooms, theater rooms, any kind of room that you have um, functionality happening. And the Z series, which is a multiple room system, uh, two-way feedback. So you can control your favorite devices like lighting and climate and shades, okay? Okay, so we offer what the customer wants. And that's really the most important. They want a single remote with one touch operation. That means they press a single button and everything happens. The lights come on or off, the, the, the TV turns on or the projector turns on, the receiver turns on, switches to the favorite DSP setting and input and so on. They're simple intuitive so that the customer, any customer could pick up this remote and understand how it works. The touch screens are, are amazing and they, we offer a lot of value in that, but the hard buttons are where the customers are gonna feel right at home with. It's affordable at the right price, and of course, it's ready to go. Mineral, minimal disruption with the R series. There's no Wi Fi issues or service calls for remotes. You'll have that thing running on site forever. Okay, so color touchscreen, easy macros and icons. We explained how that works. All custom, reliable. We use a processor, not a base station, 433 megahertz RF, probably the best in the industry. The IR also can come from the remote um, control or the processor if you're using emitters. It's streaming source ready. And if you like Roku, which a lot of people do, we have a fantastic Roku integration built in. We offer also iOS phone or tablets, and you can use those as well in your control system. We also give the ability to capture IR codes. And of course, RTI and Pro Control's bread and butter, fully customizable. You can do anything. It's an all-in-one system which auto programs. So the Pro Control Remote Series solves problems. Obviously, you want to locate the TV and sound bar, uh, which is not near the equipment. You want to control it from a bedroom to a media room. So that's that's possible with Pro Control. So it's easy to, to control devices through closets, through doors, through walls. It complements all other control systems as well. So if you have a full-blown control system in the house and you just wanna provide a simple solution for grandma in the guest room, no problem. Throw a Pro Control system in there and leave it standalone. It's a great solution for something like that. We also have companion mobile app, which we explained before, which it works inside and outside the home. So great way to control your system home and away. We have intelligent IR, the battery life is awesome. We have some sense inputs built into the processor so you can determine if a garage door was open or if curtains were open or, or closed or stuff like that. 
and virtually unlimited sources were only limited by memory. Okay, so this is the right time for your business to take on pro control. The dealer is first and foremost when it comes to our support. We offer a three year warranty, which is stellar. We have the broadest device support. So anything out there, ADI has a full complement of devices, we have the solution. And of course, we get you in and out of the project quickly. Programs in minutes. Thank you, Vincent, on that. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, just to summarize with the uh, Pro Control, we came out with that. It was a solution-based uh, concept to, uh, to give the entry-level experience. And what we've seen happen uh, throughout that is, as Vincent mentioned, that when you have another control line for whatever god awful reason it's not RTI, um, then you would go ahead and uh, you know need that single room solution. This is the uh, perfect time where you can toss a very affordable remote into that one room without having to uh, spend a lot of dollars. So very very smart, John. Yeah, and one thing I just throw out there is we have a lot of dealers in the field that are primarily an RTI dealer, but they carry the Pro Control line. And for them, Pro Control really comes in in a clutch where they're out and about, they're working on a large project, they're working on a yacht, whatever it is, and they, they're out and about and they get an opportunity to do a simple single room solution. And then, you know, they're there, they've already traveled the great distance to get there. They've got some downtime and, and the guy's like, hey man, I've got everything hooked up. I just got five remotes. You can literally get in and get out and do a pro control project in minutes. And so it's not uncommon for our dealers to have one or two uh, systems ready to go at a moment's notice because you can literally uh, snap one out of there and, and it makes some real good money in the process. So anyways, I just thought I'd throw that out there. No, that's a good point, John, because uh, the especially the uh, ease of being able to program this particular system uh, is important because uh, now you can get the entire staff to go out there and uh, and throw a pro control system into a uh, job site. And you don't have to worry about like, wow, well, this guy has to get, uh, you know, we got to do all this extensive training. You don't have to worry so much on that. And um, I don't know, anything else you need to add on that to uh, pro control, Vincent, or we're good? Well, I just say it's, it's really easy to train your techs on like, like John mentioned, you know, if you have that situation where you want to get in and out, it's a great solution. No fuss, no, no worries. It's really great. And yeah, and we're going to show you guys exactly how you're going to send your dealers over there. Um, and if any dealers are on here, you'll see exactly how you can uh, register and, and join up. Uh, so now we can start getting into the uh, bigger company here, the uh, RTI, the solution. So we have solutions for control and automation. And, um, you know, there's, we all know what remote control means, right? We're going to put, we're going to give a user the ability to control some kind of a device, uh, but it needs that kind of interaction. Automation carries two different types of definition. One of them is, of course, to press just one button and automate the entire project so it can lower your shades, dim your lights, and of course, you know, uh, turn on your, your display and, and start watching a movie. Um, however, the other part of automation is also where it doesn't require any user um, interaction. It's just based on variables, outside variables, temperature. It could be the time of day. Um, something else was executed throughout the home. So uh, a light was turned on using the light switch that's on the wall. And that can trigger off many different events that RTI can handle. So it's important to understand what you guys have you know, in the warehouse there is a full blown automation system that is normally direct to dealers. You guys have the ability to offer that to your entire uh, customer base. So with that, we um, have uh, rticontrol.com showcase. And this is a great way so that you guys, when you are talking to uh, new uh, potential dealers for them to understand exactly what it is that we can do, uh, what we do. So anywhere from the single room solution, which is, you know, it's a common thing. You're always going to have a TV over a fireplace uh, that you want to watch, you know, your latest movies on. But then if you were talking about boutique hotels, you're talking about mega yachts and, you know, we have them. Uh, you're talking about commercial spaces. Uh, we have that as well. Government and command and control. We have done those projects and we can prove those projects because they're on our rticontrol.com forward slash showcase. 
And I definitely suggest you guys look in there. We've uh, changed it up a bit as to how we do. So it's going to give you the parts list, what the dealer, um, what, you know, needs he had to address. And uh, it gives them a good opportunity. It gives anybody an opportunity to understand, hey, you know what? We can do that uh, with RTI. Again, full line automation company. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying it over and over because if you guys have to, um, you know, you only have a, an elevator pitch time with a customer. Um, I used to work distribution. I understand the amount of uh, lines that you guys carry and, and dealers are busy and at will call or on the phone. Um, so it's important for you guys to understand automation is going to be something that I'm going to talk about all the time. Um, so this does differentiate us from, uh, you know, other control lines like URC, because we're a full line. We're not, uh, as Vincent mentioned earlier about, you know, the pro control even has a processor, not a repeater. It's not a base station. It's a, it's a brains with, uh, you know, the capability of executing multiple commands. And be because of that, we have wireless interfaces. We have a whole brand of them, uh, wired interfaces. And then of course the apps that everybody is looking for, we offer that solution as well. Control processors, we give you guys an opportunity to look at multiple ones, as well as the distribution of audio and video. And we're going to introduce something in a minute. I'll show you that what we're doing when it comes to the, uh, you know, the entire full line automation, we've created one particular product that actually ties it all in. And you'll see that in a minute or so. So the ecosystem that we're going to talk about is your control processors. So what do we have? Um, you know, you have, we have a, a multitude uh, of processors out there. They all fit a need. Uh, our XP3 there is an entry-level project. And uh, Vincent, at any moment, if you want to jump in, you can. But XP3, entry-level projects, single room solutions. This works out for exactly um, what I mentioned before of hanging that TV. And then you have your small, medium projects, multi-room, conference rooms, and so forth. We, we are really... I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm bragging, but we own the resi commercial market when it comes to the control side of things, because we've always had it. It's just that someone decided to coin the term resi commercial. Um, and it's all due to the fact that we have a customizable interface. And then when you pair it up with these processors, it makes us even that much more powerful. The differences you're going to see between XP3 success and the 8V, for instance, are the uh, amount of inputs and outputs that are out there. However, you can always expand on these. So if you start out with one, you can add to them. Um, the 8V is uh, you know, an awesome piece that's gonna give you an ability to also have more inputs and outputs, but at the same time has a video output. And those video outputs, when you're looking at the commercial market, for instance, those are great. I mean, it obviously works in Resi as well, but a perfect example is being able to display a control system right onto any one of the 70 displays that are in a bar or restaurant um, and then using a simple remote with up down left right select buttons to com com commandeer that tv or multiple tvs and change channels so um, all of the information and specs and everything else that you need to know are on the website um, but if you guys have any questions of course use the chat and our guys will be answering as we go along um, along with that I'll go ahead and let uh, Vincent start talking a little bit about some of our wireless interfaces. Yeah, so uh, it's been said, and I totally agree, that RTI has some of the best controllers in the industry. When I say controllers, I mean wireless interfaces, wired interfaces, and anything with a control interface. So we have a wide variety of remote controls, which is a big advantage in the industry. Other control systems usually have one or two, which might not do it for a very diverse family. You know, we have something for everyone. Okay, let's move on. Yep. Okay, so our wired interfaces, and we'll go over, so should I go over the wired control? Uh, yeah, you know what, Let, let's go over some of the wireless. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, Let, let's do that. I apologize. Uh, the slide is probably not the best one for showing you an up close look. But obviously we have a lot of different controllers and I'm gonna start with the most basic controller. We have the Surfer controller, which is a great companion to an iPad, an iPhone, usually, or an Android device. Usually clients are going to wanna to force you, the installer, to just sell them some RTI panel or you know, iOS or Android devices as, a, as an all-in-one solution. And we all know that while that's pretty cool, on paper, 
the, the experience doesn't translate that well. So we have a remote in the surfer that will allow you to give your client something that will work in tandem with those devices. Then we step up to a T1B plus that's the remote directly to the right of the surfer remote. That's an elegant remote. It has an LED dock, which uh, broadcasts a nice little uh, uh, blue kind of display. And then when we step up from that to the T2I, we're getting a touch screen. I like to think of the T2I as a very simple remote, much like the T1B plus with the addition of a touch screen. Lots of hard buttons for the client. Now, if the job requires a little bit more in terms of automation and controlling cameras and climate, step up to the T2X. The T2X is immediately to the right of the T2I. That's going to give you the ability to use automation and lots of other features. It's a heavyweight version of the T2I. And then our flagship remote, the T4X, gives you a lot of touchscreen with less hard buttons for those guys and girls that like that touchscreen. I know my wife enjoys a, a bigger touchscreen rather than more hard buttons, but everyone's different. And then laying on the, on the uh, flat surface, the U3 all the way to the left is our water resistant remote control. It has an IP67 rating. It'll float in the pool. It'll repel dust and chlorine. Uh, it uses a liquid ink display. It's completely sealed. And it's just a great remote for controlling your music and television or anything you wanna do outdoors in a very simplistic manner. We also have the Pro 24Z, which is part of our RTI lineup all the way to the right. Uh, we might be phasing that out, but it is in the current lineup right now, and that's part of Pro Control. But we decided to bring it into the RTI ecosystem for those who want to upgrade. Moving on to the wired and uh, wired interfaces, these are our keypads. We have entry level keypads, we have keypads that are flush mounted, and we have keypads that are mounted in the wall. It's uh, mounted on the wall or out, or out of the wall on top of the wall, not shown here. Uh, we also have the CX series, which can be mounted under cabinet. We have a lot of these can be custom engraved for free with our laser shock service that we offer in-house at RTI. So you can look at some of these in like the RK1, which comes in two, four, and eight buttons, you can see here in the dead center, that'll allow you to engrave those buttons um, with your favorite icons or, or titles. Then we have our audio distribution amplifiers. These are fantastic. We have the AD4X, AD8X, and AD16X. This will allow you to distribute four sources over four zones, eight sources over eight zones, and 16 sources over 16 zones. Now the four and the eight have built-in amplification. The 8016X has a, is a preamp only and requires a separate amplifier. However, we do have a CP16I amplifier for those installations, which is 100 watts per channel, one U chassis, and runs really cool. We also have commercial-like amplifiers as well that you can use if you're doing a commercial project and you need some audio mixing. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to mention uh, when it comes to these uh, devices that uh, Vincent's talking about is that the neat thing is when it comes to uh, working on commercial uh, projects, the 4X and 8X and uh, obviously the 16X since it has pre-outs, but you can use the 8 ohm amplification that's in there for some uh, basic rooms such as a bathroom and a uh, dealer can just uh, have a uh, speaker system in there, a stereo speaker. Uh, but if you need to do 70 volt systems throughout, you can always use the pre outs and still have the capability of controlling volume on off uh, from those particular zones that you're controlling. So it's a real important thing uh, to kind of like understand when it comes time to looking at the res commercial market. So great for residential, great for commercial. Um, think about these devices again. When we talk about adding revenue to your uh, stream, how do you do that? Well, offer the entire gamut of what we have here because you're going to build a great system, something that requires one phone call to talk about whenever you need the assistance. Um, and, uh, you know, again, a solution that's for every possible problem that might exist out there. Uh, so what we're going to move on to now is I mentioned how you know, why we're a full automation line is because you see we have, uh, you know, some 
video distribution products. Uh, uh, well, you didn't see that yet. We'll show it to you. We have some audio distribution. We have a full line of uh, remotes, handhelds that a customer can um, choose from or the dealer can uh, provide, and as well as touchscreens. Well, along with that, we now have a source too. And with that, I'll let uh, Vincent go over some RTI music um, capabilities here, Vincent. So take it away with the RTI yeah, music. Yeah, so RTI music is one of our best offerings. Um, currently, uh, if you're buying another console, control solution like uh, music solution like Sonos, you're going to have a limited experience when it comes to using integration like control integration. You're only going to be able to access your favorites. The MS3 has several music services and gives you the full experience. You have music cues, you have search features, you have a pop-up keyboard that'll pop up whenever you need it so you can create and edit playlists, save favorites, add song, add some songs to your Pandora list and things like that. So it's a really great device if you're really into the music, which a lot of guys are doing these days. We also offer an incredible driver, which can program this in seconds. So you literally have to do nothing when you add the RTI music driver to your software. We also feature some great commercial music streaming services. We do have Sirius XM music for business, and we do also uh, include sound machine and, uh, you know, installers can, can take notice that with this sound, if you sell a sound machine uh, subscription, you do get a 10% kickback from sound machine when you're signing up new dealers. So just a great little revenue model there if you're into sound machine and you're doing commercial business. We also have AirPlay and you can see the apps here. They're pretty popular apps. We're going to continue to add apps to this as we go. We have a lot of plans for some new ones uh, that are coming this spring. Um, and uh, so look out for that. And now we move into our video distribution uh, lineup here. Uh, we have uh, a number of different ways that we can uh, offer solutions with a video distribution, whether it's a matrix uh, switch, which you see here, and we'll go into that in a second, or our video over IP solution. Um, and even though they both do the same thing, they distribute sources out to uh, different displays. Um, there is a place for both of them and not, neither one is going to dominate the market as, uh, the way we might think, uh, but they complement each other in multiple ways, but the solutions are here. It's available. Again, these two uh, products are capable of working in either a residential system or a commercial uh, of course, video over IP, you probably see that a little bit more on the uh, commercial side than you would Resi. However, uh, guys like John over there on the West Coast are doing quite a number of uh, residential uh, large homes, of course, and uh, here on the East Coast, the same thing. And, um, and you know, and you start to realize that, hey, we've got, you know, capability of, of actually uh, scaling things when it comes to a, a, uh, a solution that you need, and that's where the video over IP but when you have the fixed matrix, like a four by four, this comes with the receivers. Um, so you have your, your four by four uh, chassis here, and then you have your eight by eight. That one, we allow, we let you guys get the amount of receivers that you need. So you don't have to purchase uh, more than you're going to ever use, um, perhaps. So those are on the fixed uh, channel part of uh, things here. And can I add one thing? Yeah, go ahead. One of my favorite parts about these matrixes, which is a little sneaky feature, is that they have the ability to use CEC, which is a way of, it's just a protocol that's on an HDMI cable to control devices that buy into CEC, like TVs and different streamers around the world. So if you have a, a TV, maybe you can't get an emitter to, or you want to control your fire stick or your Blu-ray player, you could use the built-in CEC feature that's part of our driver to control these devices without requiring any kind of uh, um, emitter or any kind of connection um, to those devices. So just a cool little feature, I think, that separates us from a lot of other products out there on the market. Great point, Vincent. And because you came out with such a good point, I'm going to let you do the video over IP as well. <laughs> <laughs> so video over IP, we've seen it everywhere. We know it's it's in almost every distribution hub in America and sometimes more than one. How do you separate all of these 
uh, devices in the market and figure out like which is the best to use. Well, I can't say ours is the best, but what I can say is that ours is a lot easier to set up than most. We we are we don't give you any kind of um, software software that comes with it that helps you that you need to set it up with. We don't tell you which that you have to plug in he, X, Y, and Z to this port on the route on the switch and this port on the switch. Um, so you could just plug this into the multicast switch that we, we support and use this controller. And now you have the ability to basically configure your video over IP system on a web page, which in turn ports it over to the RTI side. Now on the RTI side, besides having that seamless switching, that video wall up to a nine by nine can be used. You also have the ability to get thumbnails on your RTI remotes which show you instantly what's playing on a source device or on a TV. So the client can look at his, like picture a sports bar, the client can look at his interface and see that, you know, TV number 20 behind the restaurant area is showing ESPN and there's, there's no sports game on. So he can easily switch that channel. So there's lots of things you can do with this system that are a little bit different than other people's solutions. Um, it's really seamless. You can also use audio breakouts um, with this. It does support IR pass-through and RS-232 pass-through. So you can really uh, put this thing in any kind of residential or sports bar that you have going on. It's a really great solution. Very yeah, and, easy to set up. Um, there's also some uh, good videos that uh, have been created so that you guys can go onto our website and learn some more about these particular products. But um, this is just humble, but I'm going to say this is definitely a, the greatest uh, product that we have. So, <laughs> but uh, the only reason I say it that is, is great. because of what it is great. Yeah, because of what he mentioned, the fact that uh, you're going to take this is all part of the RTI ecosystem. It's not third party. Uh, dealers don't not have to worry about calling up and saying, "Hey, there's uh, this isn't working." Guy looks at it, says, "Oh, it looks good on our end. It must be your control system." They call us. No, your program file looks good on our end. It must be them. Um, this is all done directly through us. Again, part of the ecosystem that we're trying to uh, display here with you guys and show you. Uh, that brings us over to some commercial solutions that we have. Uh, these are great because we have our VXP82. It's an all-in-one presentation switcher that has um, uh, the ability for eight inputs and two outputs. It also gives you the ability to come out into uh, audio and get microphone control with USB hosting. So you can do a KVM if you want to on the uh, VXP82. And it also has a processor built in into that one uh, chassis. So those are really uh, important things to look at when you're trying to do, you know, conference room, huddle rooms, classrooms, um, and so forth. Uh, the VXUSC conferencing system, it's one of my favorites. Why? Because Right now, we're currently on a Zoom call. We have Microsoft Teams out there. Um, you know, the pandemic made us all jump onto these videos, and that's exactly what this little VXU guy does. It's a nice small form factor. It comes with a transmitter and receiver. Single Cat5 connects the two of them, and you can then input as, a couple, as many as five sources, including USB-C, uh, for those of you who uh, have MacBooks out in the field that a uh, customer needs to use. And they can display it. And it also has the KVM feature built in so that you can have one um, keyboard and one mouse to control the uh, different, uh, you know, laptops or PCs that are on the system. And because of the USB hosting that's on there, it will allow you to put a USB camera and then, of course, a USB conference room. So now when you're doing your Zoom conference calls, makes it nice and easy to have this one touch capability. Anybody can plug in. And they can go ahead and start switching between multiple uh, uh, participants uh, and show their display. So true collaboration pieces that we have. Um, we also have a VSS 51 five in one presentation scale, five inputs, one out, has microphone capability as well. I see a great solution in this all the time behind a podium uh, because it has two outputs. So you have the ability to go ahead and display on your screen, but at the same time have a monitor in front of the podium so that the presenter does not need to keep looking behind them to make sure his slides are in the correct order. Uh, then of course the VMS 741 is a multi-viewer. So uh, I've had a couple of designs on this already that went to some command centers uh, down South. 
And they use that to be able to take in up to eight inputs and display it onto one screen. So if you have one big projection uh, going out, you can have four different um, uh, devices being shown at the same time. And that's configurable through the software or hard buttons to how you want that to look. And then moving on here, we have um, what RTI works with. I mean, this is just a small sample. There's not everything uh, at all. Uh, we didn't put everything that we can control. The way I like to look at it, if it's controllable and it's not a human or a dog or something, uh, it can be controlled because again, our processors give you the ability to control via IR, RS-232, IP, relay, sense, triggers, um, you name it, we can do it. So uh, this is just a small sample of what we can um, actually play around with. So RTI sits in the sweet spot. The dealers build their businesses around this. Uh, why? Well, because we have some uh, interesting, fun things coming out. The MS3 is out now. That's the music streamer. And we told you guys, we showed you that. That kind of just like uh, completely uh, completed the package of what a full-blown automation system should be. Um, but along with that, we have uh, new things that are coming out, such as ID11. Uh, which is a feature-rich enhancement to our uh, previous software, Apex. Um, fully customizable, but at the same time, making it so that you guys can actually go in there, um, tell, your customer, tell your dealer base that, hey, you know what? You can get everybody on board. If they educate themselves properly, everyone on the team can actually go out and program. So you no longer are stuck to that, you know, that one guy. He's the only certified programmer on the the uh, on the company payroll and he holds your company hostage, right? You don't need that. Everybody can program um, at this point with uh, the new ID 11. And Vincent's going to go over that a little bit. Um, and then with that, I'm just going to turn it over once more to Vincent so he can start talking to you about some of the pro production, uh, the productive utility type features that we have in RTIQ. And with that, Vincent, you can take it away. As a former integrator, I would always dread that call I would get from a client at, you know, four o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday because I knew he was having that big party that something went wrong. To combat that problem, we released RTIQ, RTI's Intelligent Monitoring Service. And with RTIQ, not only do you get advanced notice if there's a problem via text or email, but you'll also be able to execute um, actions you know, standing right in your living room as if you were standing right in the client's living room. So you can do things like heal the system, do some further troubleshooting, and so on and so forth. The RTIQ comes with a dashboard with a detailed history of each system and what's been going on throughout time. It's a great way to kind of evaluate at the end of the year, at the end of the quarter, where the weak links are in your, in your system. Maybe you can upgrade the client to something else, or you can reinforce the programming somehow. So you can do things like um, access your dashboard and see what's going on, like a, a map-like interface, remote monitoring on all your devices, root cause, real-time notifications via email or text, and to your employees as well. You could also control the permissions of those employees. And you could also remotely trigger actions, which is my favorite part, to reset devices, reboot outlets, things like that. Anything you need to do to fix a problem, including reboot the processor as a, as a way of healing the system. Really easy to set up. You could monitor um, IP addresses. You could monitor something that we have called system variables. And in our, a lot of our drivers will report a connection state, which you could monitor. So if you're monitoring the connection state of your lighting system and the lighting system goes down, that disconnection, that connection state will drop alerting you via email or text. So in most cases, you'll find out before the client even finds out. And in most cases, you'll be able to heal the system before the client even realizes there is an issue. So there's a, one of the buzzwords you guys could use with your dealer base is not having to roll a truck every single time because you can now start to take a peek um, as to what might be happening. Um, you know, and of course, they may have to go out there for other reasons, but at least this gives them one step to kind of like scale back and say, hey, we can do this from here uh, without having to roll that truck. Time is money, right? Yeah, so that's a good thing. And we're going to enhance the system over time and hopefully give you added abilities. 
indeed. Um, so that's our that's our monitoring system. So we have now, when you look at what we've got going on, right? You know, we've got 29 years in the business. We have a full automation uh, package that your dealers can uh, take take a hold of. And how did we complete that? We completed that with a media streamer. We have monitoring capability built into our systems that they don't have to uh, pay for. Um, and then on top of that, we decided, hey, let's enhance the software and let's make that to be a little bit more, you know, um, intuitive, make it a little easier. And we did that with ID11. And Vincent can talk about a few of the different um, uh, capabilities that he has there uh, with what we're doing with ID11. So go so, ahead, Vincent. So yeah, that. with ID11, what we wanted to do is we wanted to provide a fast lane for guys that just want to get in and out of projects. Now, because RTI is a custom uh, platform, you know, we're, we're probably the best in the world at custom customizing uh, whatever experience you want. However, we also realize that not everybody wants to customize all the time. So we created a fast lane in our software to deliver um, and deploy a project in a really short order so that you can get in and out a lot quicker. But we also wanted to maintain another track, which allows people to go in and you know, put in floor plans on their systems and con configure it the way they want to configure it. Like obviously in a sports bar, you want to present your interface in a different way. So we didn't want to lose that capability. That's what makes us tick. So you can expect those two tracks now, the express track and the custom track to really uh, give you the ability to go either way. We've also added a four of features like integrated drivers that are built into our cloud. So you're always up to date. We've added event maps that allow you to easily program all of your macros instead of having to do it on individual buttons on all your different interfaces. You just program it once on our event map and that's all you have to do. Um, the software is about doing things once and never having to do it again. Um, and there's also a beautiful template also that we've added on, as you can see here, that is going to give you a really competitive look on all your projects. Yeah, the uh, template was one of the biggest, uh, you know, uh, undertakings that they went ahead and worked with. Um, and the reason why is because they needed to be, uh, they needed this to be as intuitive as possible for a consumer. And it is, you know, in real world situations, such as my own, I've got four kids and nobody ever touched my touch screen that was uh, in the main room. Well, you know, I'm just over engineering it, I guess. I had too many buttons. I didn't have the layout properly done. Um, and then this came along and now, you know, all the kids jump on there and use it and they're selecting their music or um, adjusting temperature and so forth. So this is a really, really important thing for us. The ID11 software, when you're talking to uh, your dealers out there, let them know that they have this ability to go in with the proper education and taking some time to really understand what we can do they now can just jump in and uh, and they can handle pretty much any project they want, whether it's a simple um, solution as a one room or, you know, like I said before, 200 unit boutique hotel somewhere. Um, you can do that as well. And uh, with that, then I guess we uh, start talking about, well, how do you get started with Pro Control and or RTI? And I'll go ahead and uh, work with the uh, Pro Control side of things first. Um, so basically, you're going to go to the uh, Pro Control website, and you're going to register to become a dealer, and you'll see that there's a little register there with our arrow telling you. And um, our inside sales will confirm with you guys to make sure um, that you guys that he is a customer and so forth. And then the account will be activated um, once we make those confirmations. At that point, the dealer will have access to the website where he can, of course, get all the training he needs and any other uh, sales uh, content that we have available to them. When it goes down to the uh, RTI side, this one here, you guys, they're going to talk to you guys, right? Uh, and, and we're going to talk to you guys as well. And they're going to determine whether or not, uh, hey, you know what, he, he makes a good candidate. And how do we do that? Well, it's a little bit of help on your end, and a lot of the work on our end, you guys are going to talk to a dealer, and you're going to find out a little bit about him, and you think this is a good fit. Um, knowing what you know about RTI uh, currently from here or from your past experience. Um, or if you need more information, you can always reach out to us. This isn't the end all, you know, this is it. This is the webinar. If you don't get it, that's it. 
Um, you can always reach out to us and we'll have more of these, I'm sure. Um, but qualifying that customer is uh, essential. And you can let them know he can go and register on the rticontrol.com, uh, become a dealer. Um, and you can see there's forward slash ADI dash become a dealer. So we know it's your guys. And then our inside sales will start to qualify them as well and try to complete the sign up process. Will there be someone who doesn't make uh, the cut? Probably. Um, it just happens. Guys, this is a full blown control line, uh, full automation. This is not, you know, this isn't a Harmony remote. And so we are looking for somebody who's dedicated to learning and understanding this. It's not rocket science but it does require time. And anybody who owns a business obviously knows that part of that is investing time in order to make yourself uh, self successful. And we need that. We need that kind of partnership. So some guys will be turned down perhaps, and we'll let you guys know. Maybe that's where they go into a pro control until they get their feet wet per se and, uh, and start to move into some other uh, avenues. Uh, you guys can help out with that as well because you probably will have some good RTI dealers on board that you can pair up and you know mentor uh, that particular dealer who may not be ready, uh, but he still has a project that he has to complete. And this is one solution that they have. Don't get caught, guys, with the dealer trying to threaten you with business, right? Oh, yeah, well, you don't want to sell me RTI, I'll go somewhere else. Where? Where are you going to go two days in order to try to do a big project? And that is what I'm seeing a lot of, and the rest of my team sees the same thing. Uh, guys are under the impression that, oh, sold through uh, distribution, it should be easy, right? ADI carries it. I have an account. I should be able to pick it up. And I should have no problem doing, you know, uh, the entire, you know, uh, conference room system that I'm about to do without any training. So our inside sales guys will work with them. Uh, of course, me and John will be... Uh, uh, knee deep in there as well. And then Vincent comes in and um, assist when we, where we need him to work that guy along. There's a training kit that they will be purchasing. Um, and they get that from us. Uh, it's the only way for us to understand exactly how, uh, whether or not a, that they actually signed up. It's the only way we allow them to actually get access to the dealer portal and the software. And then it allows us to track them using RTI Excel um, which is part of our training program there. Once we have them uh, purchasing the kit, they can go online. That account has been authorized. And from there, it's up to you guys to continue preaching the uh, good old, you know, word of RTI. But um, to summarize what we've talked about, we're looking at two solution-based products that you guys carry or two different um, coexisting brands and Pro Control and RTI. I will say it once again, full automation with the RTI system, guys, full blown automation. And that is really, really important because if you need a buzzword at the, uh, you know, at the uh, branch level, or you need something while you're on the phone, let guys know, Hey, you want a full blown automation system? Guess what? We carry it. And the education is paramount, but with uh, Tyler Nelson and Vincent Bova uh, putting their heads together, working with it, trying to get, uh, make sure that all our dealers are educated properly. I think we've got, we're have we hitting a home run here. Um, I've said it plenty of times, but it's a good time to be an RTI dealer. Um, it's a great time to be an RTI employee, and it's a great time to be an RTI partner. So with that, I don't think we have anything else. Uh, we do have some possible questions and answers that maybe the chat window wasn't addressed. Um, John, if you have anything to bring up, maybe we can answer. You're muted. Can you hear me now? Yes, we do. Good. Uh, one of the questions that I heard that I uh, that I observed that I thought was pretty good was someone was asking about voice control. There was other questions about, you know, do we have a vast uh, library of drivers and things like that? I think the thing that everyone needs to remember is that we have a crazy, crazy list of authorized uh, drivers that we've created ourselves. In fact, much of our driver development is maintaining existing drivers. Uh, I could throw uh, a couple brands out there. I know that uh, ADI sells Yamaha, or at least you did. Um, but, it, you know, there's certain drivers that require constant maintenance for us to keep up with uh, the manufacturer's um, product assortment. Um, the, 
the, the thing about it that you always have to remember as well is if we don't have a driver that RTI has created in our driver store, or now our drivers are actually built into the software and they ping the cloud and they can find them and update them from there. But the, the reality is, is that we have an SDK, we open it up to our uh, community. Uh, it's private, you have to apply and it's a special privilege, but there are drivers out there that do incredible things that we haven't created um, yet we help you find them, things like that. But there, there's also situations where some manufacturers, when you go look at a product and you're on XYZ black box from whoever, a lot of times they'll have drivers that they created themselves there as well. So there's a myriad of areas where the drivers can be sourced from. And uh, we work with just about everything. And if we don't work with them, there's typically a real good reason for that. So. Yeah, that's a that's a really good point, John. Thank you for that because um, the SDK, especially, that is important. So if you guys uh, are not familiar with what that means, it's just a development kit that we give out. A manufacturer has a particular product. They create what's called an API. It's a documentation that says, if you want to talk to us, this is how you talk to us. Pretty much the way my wife said to me when she first married me, this is how you're going to talk to me, uh, and and I follow the protocol, right? So it's the same concept there. And, um, and then by doing so, if the dealer has the particular capabilities of understanding how to, you know, write a couple of scripts, um, like John said, we can apply for it and we can uh, give him the, uh, the keys to the kingdom there and he can go ahead and develop a driver. And those guys do. And like John said, there's third party drivers out there. So when you talk about voice control, uh, some of you guys are asking, we have third party drivers that do that. We don't have them. And so there is the charge because you have three different types of uh, SDK guys, right? So they get the, the uh, kit and you have the uh, benevolent guy, right? He just gives away whatever driver he has. And he's just that kind of guy. Uh, then you have the selfish guy who just keeps it to himself. Nobody even knows it exists. And then you have other guys who can profit from it and they make a driver and they charge for it. Right. Um, my, I think I bought the, um, the Amazon one and uh, I don't want to say her name because she's listening here. Um, and that one, I don't know, they cost me like 110 bucks or something. And so I am able to use voice control. So can we use it? Yes. Now, will we have our own native? Possibly. I don't want to make any, uh, you know, promises or, uh, or say anything because, uh, Sean's recording this and he'll use this against me, uh, somehow. So I don't want to go in there <laughs> and say, definitely we have, but yeah, no, we are working on that. And so natively you might see something on our end. But uh, yeah, good questions. Anybody else have anything? There's a question in the uh, Q&A box from James. Uh, how long will the RTI approval process take? I believe it's uh, 24 hours. You contact someone from- Oh, that's Texas. quick. Yeah, I same day on yeah. most occasions. So it's, okay. it's quick. You know, really what hangs it up would be we're immediate to respond. We start having instructions and, and conversation. And then a lot of times the dealer goes on and doesn't follow up. So- it's up to the dealer how fast it goes, really. Yeah, and that's uh, something to bring up is uh, we do get this often. Uh, when the dealer goes through and he wants to, you know, he's going to get that phone call. Um, he definitely, he does want to respond. He, he wants to help out and, and do it. Some of the emails that might come through, for whatever reason, may go to spam. And just tell them, just double check to your spam, make sure that you get something out of there. But they, John's right, he will get a response quickly. And it's just he or she has to be able to respond back to us. Hey guys, I think I have one that I'd like to address if you don't mind. Someone asked how long does it take to train? Like, what is the training like with RTI? And I just want to answer that in the best possible way. Um, well, to train in our software, there are 12 instructor courses on our training learning system that are approximately 90 minutes each. If you do the math, that's about 18 hours of coursework. They also have exercises in them and quizzes and things to help you along so you know exactly where you stand. So let's just add another hour or two to that. Um, so that's about 20 hours of, of courses. And then that doesn't include if you want to learn specifically about how our products are. Now, our products don't require a big learning curve at all, but it is something you need to absorb. So I would say the RTI curriculum is no more or less than any other control system like Control 4, Savant, those offer a three-day training. And we did too at one point. We're going to return to that later this quarter, uh, this upcoming quarter, next quarter. Um, 
but we to supplement that we have these instructor led courses that will give you the uh, the juice. So just to show you, uh, if you don't mind clicking on the catalog angel, if you click on catalog, it shows you all the available courses. We have individual tra training modules. That's like how to do specific things in the software. Then we have AV fundamentals. That's like what is an IR code and all basic stuff that you could put your staff through if they're first joining up or whatever. Uh, then you have the Apex uh, instructor-led courses. Those are the 12 90-minute courses. Those will teach you A to Z how to program the software. Then you have recorded webinars. Those are basically webinars on anything you record, drivers, products, anything. And then residential and commercial project walkthroughs. We show you how to walk through a project, how to spec it, what to look for, um, how to design it. So that's a course and multiple courses in there. And then there's um, advanced programming, uh, of course, which goes into a lot of our drivers out there and things like that. And then we have our RTI panel licensing, uh, just a few minute course, which tells you how our license policy works. So you could get educated pretty quick. It's all a matter of how you, how you, what you put into it, and also what kind of commitment you made. I find that the time that it takes to learn RTI goes up, uh, goes down exponentially when you have some product to test with and learn with. So it's always good to pick up some product and you know, learn how to use it um, alongside the training. That's going to go a long way. I'm glad you answered that one, Vincent, because uh, it took me six years to finish college and it took my daughter three. So uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> how long does it take to learn something? Uh, don't go by me. Um, what else do we have out there? Any other questions? Come on, guys, give us some hard ones. Someone's asking if it works with Josh AI, and I, I don't think we do right now, but I think that they're in their infancy in terms of who they're reaching out to and integrating with. So I wouldn't rule that out in the future. Um, there are some things we need to do on our end first, but um, it's very likely that we could partner with them at one point in the future. Else. We're nearing the uh, one hour there, Mark, Mark there, Sean. Well, uh, I should I say noticed, that we offer yep. system design as well. Good point. System design. I mean, yeah, they, well, that goes along with the entire support staff. Uh, where we showed you in the beginning and slide of what we have available to you. Um, when you're talking to your dealers, just let them know that they're, they're, they're jumping on board. And once again, I'll say it a full-blown control line, which requires education, they're not going to be left alone. Trust me. We're going to, we're going to assist where, where we need, where we're needed. And we have departments that can handle any part of that type of assistance that they need. Someone asked if, if, if we offer that first install kind of assistance, as long as you took the training and as long as you're, you're ready to take it on. Yes, we, we can definitely assist you. Um, probably rather do it off site than on site because you know, it's a little difficult to do it when you're on site, when you have a customer down your neck, but um, we do offer that kind of thing. So, And John offers uh, drills, cable poles. He's got ladders that he can <laughs> hand out. Uh, yeah, education is important, guys. The reason why when you talk to your dealers and they're looking to jump on board, why the education is important? Because when they're looking for assistance and support, they're not going to be talking the same language we do. So we can't help a guy out when we're talking in terminology he doesn't know anything about because he doesn't know anything about our software. Um, but however, once he's educated, we can say, hey, did you check this particular variable? He'll know what we're talking about. And he can go ahead and work on that. Okay, we got a minute left. Let me uh, just kind of wrap things up and close. Looks like we've gotten all the questions um, answered as far as I can tell. So uh, just wanted to uh, thank everybody for attending. Hopefully you found today's webinar uh, informative. I certainly learned a couple of things I didn't know um, prior to uh, today. So I appreciate, uh, I'm glad I was able to join this call <laughs> since I was the host actually. Don't know that I had a choice. Um, but as a friendly reminder for the dealers on the call, so we have a mixture of dealers and ADI uh, uh, sales team members on the call. So just a friendly reminder that RTI and Pro Control are both participating in the AV Elite program this year. Um, and the first quarter is about to end in two weeks, um, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, next, on April 1st, so uh, less than two weeks from now. 
uh, next Friday, actually. So all your purchases uh, that ship between now and April 1st will count. So if you happen to uh, need any Pro Control or RTI product uh, between now and then, let us know. Um, if you have not seen the latest brochure, send an email to avielite at adiglobal.com. We'll make sure we get that out to you. It will also be refreshed here early Q2 um, with some new brands that we'll be announcing in the program. So we're excited about that. And uh, also just wanted to give a, a plug for another upcoming um, uh, webinar. It's not part of the AV Elite program. It's just a general ADI session that's coming up on April 13th. It's streamlining your business with the ADI digital branch. So it's going to be talking all about the ADI website that if you've not been on there lately, it's completely changed over the past uh, uh, couple of years. Um, there's a lot of resources up there comprehensive suite of self-service tools and account management features. So definitely check that out. I um, mean, go to adiglobaldistribution.us slash webinars, register for any, uh, any of our upcoming webinars that uh, ADI hosts, and then also view any of the uh, past recorded ones there. So um, again, hopefully uh, you all learned something uh, and um, if you have questions, please reach out and have a great rest of your week. Um, Vincent, John, Angel, appreciate you guys being on today. And Pleasure. I look forward to you. seeing you guys uh, maybe at a, at a future trade show uh, live in, in person uh, again uh, soon. So yeah, absolutely. Anyway. All so, right. Thank you, everyone. All right. Thanks, Thanks very much.